All right, so how about we do a little house tour slash day in the life combo deal. I'm gonna give you a tour of the house by way of how I interact with it each day. First things first, my phone, the alarm goes off, I turn off the alarm, or sometimes I wake up before the alarm and I turn off the alarm anyways so it doesn't go off. And I kind of, often I kind of lie here for a while like this, scrolling, right? And then eventually I get up, usually because I have to pee. And yes, I wear pants to bed. No socks though, I would never be able to wear socks to bed. And I unplug my phone, probably drink a bunch of water. I keep this here near my bed. Here's my bedroom, it has lots of nice natural light in the morning. So here's the bedroom. A pillow with planets on it, made by a former roommate and a friend of mine. Still friend, formerly a roommate. Here's where I keep my clean clothes. Some other clean clothes over here, another duvet. That's where I keep some sweatshirts and hoodies. These are more, you know, like this is a spacesuit outfit. Here's my belt I'll put on later in the day if I want to go outside. Here's where I take off my socks before I go to bed. If they're not too too heavily used, I can put them on again the next day. That's the nice thing about uh, wool socks. Anyway, so I get up and I walk over here. Now this is a collection in my floor where I keep pants that I can wear again. Uh, like these right here, let me turn on the light. These right here are pants I wear usually when I go for walks. These are shorts, these are not, these are like joggers. These are like for going on walks, depending on the temperature. These right here, and these right here are sweatpants for wearing around the house or just to friends' houses. There's another pair of shorts, sweatpants I cut off into shorts. And there's just a normal pair of chinos like I'm wearing right now. Anyways, so after I wake up, I usually come in here to the bathroom. I sit down and pee for a while. I sit here, just kind of like scroll on my phone for a minute, still waking up. I shower. Sometimes I wonder if I take a shower at night, if my neighbors can see my kind of pixelized shape showering here. I would recommend this, by the way. I'm very happy with this. I bought this shower head. It's amazing. Love the water flow. I took the governor out of it to re that reduces the water flow. I don't know, maybe that's a bad thing, but I love showering now because of that. And here's my little Bluetooth speaker. And here's my conditioners I use. This one smells amazing. This one is just good. And wait, this is important. Up here is some peeling paint that looks kind of like Antarctica to me. But, I mean, maybe just vaguely. Okay. After I pee in the mornings, oh wait, here's my mirror. I look in the mirror sometimes in the morning, rub the sleep out of my eyes, but not really. Come in here, this is my office, computer room. I think I used to have my computer over here, or I used to do a lot more of my drawing over here, but now I do most of my drawing in the kitchen. But I just come over here and I put my water bottle down. Usually I put my water bottle down right here, but now this is where I have my, my coffee. If I had already made it to my first cup of coffee, then it would be sitting right here. But first I just sit here for a while and, and like click on stuff. It takes me a weirdly long time to like get to the point where I feel like doing something useful and productive and important. Uh, so I, I don't know. Eventually I'm like, okay, I need to do breakfast, which lately has been a, an almond, like Nature's Valley granola bar and a glass of cold brew. And then usually around 12 o'clock or one, I have lunch. Here's my closet where I keep my pile of cables. I've just accumulated a lot of cables and stuff over the years. Oh yeah, that's my 3D printer over there. 
I need to do more 3D printing, but it works pretty good. Here's my computer. A few pretty lights, but not too many. So then I, when I'm ready for lunch, I come out of here, maybe put my slippers on, and then here's the living room, which is a nice area for watching TV, which is sometimes what I do while I eat lunch. Here's the fridge with all of my old Squarespace doodles on there. I basically pop this open and uh, I still eat these factor meals, so they're pretty, just so easy, straightforward. They got food in there, heat it up for three minutes, 45 seconds. Sometimes I buy other kind of more foodie food, like a yogurt, but I don't know how long this has been in here. I'm too afraid to eat it. Don't know how long these have been in here. I should probably just throw them away. I take the food, put it in our microwave, microwave it. This is my, my microwave food prepping area. Here, it goes up to here. And then when it's fully microwaved, I take it over here. And I peel the top off. And then these are the trash cans right here. And, and then if, sometimes I take my little tray and I put my food on my tray and uh, Come over here to the couch. And sit down on the couch and eat my food. The this tray is actually a fairly new addition to my my daily ritual because usually sometimes I was just kind of holding it on my lap and it's a little bit hot at first, but uh, this actually works really good. And then I watch the TV. Also, I normally would have brought my water bottle out here with me at this point. I kind of take it with me wherever I go. The water bottle is very important. I get I get a little bit stressed out if I don't bring it with me. I press this, the TV comes on. Lately I've been watching um, Bosch, Legacy is pretty good, Castle is just good for filling time, glad that's on Hulu now. Um, oh yeah, this show, The Essex Serpent, interesting. It's about, a, it's about like a sea serpent, kind of like Old Nessie. Also, one of my favorite things to do is to play guitar while I watch TV. Speakers, got my record player, school project, some books I like from a, my only 5k I ever ran painting. Oh, there's my scale. I mean, my what was this called? A level? I forgot this was back there. Um, yeah, sword. The main problem with having it in this room is I'm afraid to hit the TV with it. Oh, 
Uh, weights I don't use. Yeah, put my my feet got a little hot in the slippers. I have my all my shoe options laid out here: heating pad, umbrella, backpack, garbage bags, other shoes, other shoes, garbage bag of tools, easel, board games, uh, bookshelves back here. I love my books. Pretty good collection here. I like all of them. All the ones I don't like I've put in the attic, which I'll show you in a second. Here's uh, Dan's apartment. You notice he's not home at the moment. He's uh, over there right now. We'll see him in a second. Million dollar painting. Oh yeah, so there you go. This is the living room. Coat rack. There's probably coats under here I haven't thought about in a long time. I keep just buying new ones. Pretty sweet. All right, then at some point, sometimes, uh, I decide, you know, let's do some drawing. And that's where I have my drawing set up right here. I come over and I have lights here and here, just for this area. And that's why I press this button, which turns them on. Nice. And then I usually have a glass of coffee or water. I keep my water bottle right here. And then I sit down. You can see I've been doing a Squarespace doodle, but uh, you know, then I could turn this on. I don't think it'll work right now because there's no memory card in there. And then I have like little uh, monitors right here for to make this easier to to make this easier to see. I can just look right here instead. See, yeah, pretty cool. This one is for this camera, which is I often put right here and. That one is for that camera. And, oh look, there's Dan. This is a, oops, this is a, he's sitting here trying out a new rug that someone sent him. So there's with, along with the tiny little letter. We can look at that now actually. What does it say? Hello Dan, I hope this finds you well. I wanted you to have this. I made this myself using Japanese indigo dyeing techniques. It can be an area rug or blanket or a wall hanging. If you want to allow Peter to use it, I'll be absolutely tickled to think that he might use it to blow his nose on something. You're both amazing. We love unwinding with some Peter draws once in a while. Keep on keeping on Sandra, Byron, and the Barnacle Sisters. I think I'm going to let Dan use it in his apartment because I feel bad. I would feel bad about blowing my nose on this. This cool handmade thing. He, he can maybe use it as a blanket to wrap himself on with on cold nights. Even though he doesn't even live in the fridge anymore. But it would be a nice addition to his to his apartment over there. I'll get them all set up soon. But yeah, this is where I've tried to organize this area by buying a lot of totes and just putting things in these plastic boxes. But it's not been entirely successful as you might be able to tell. There's still a, a wide, <laughs> wide disarray. There's just stuff everywhere. Eventually, you know, I don't fight it too much anymore. This is a water bowl from when I had a cat for two days. I try not to talk about it too much because I was really um, um, surprised by the amount of, well, borderline hate I got for returning a cat. Back here is my washer dryer. This is where I keep a lot of my clean clothes. Oh yeah. Smells, smells pretty clean. Yep, so this is the, uh, I guess it was originally supposed to be a dining area, but I turned it into a drawing area. Turn this back off. Here's my kitchen sink. Here's some, uh, I think this are, these plants are called pothos. I have them growing here. And maybe need to put some more water in those, but I propagated one plant into three and then the original plant died. And they're somehow just barely hanging on. They, they struggle to grow more than like three or four leaves each and then 
the leaves start dying. Maybe it's, I don't know why. Not too good plants. This is really the only plant I'm good at keeping alive. This snake plant right here. I keep this shot glass right here. Every Sunday, I give it two shots of water. Bloop, bloop. And then, so far that's been working. So, I don't know what to say. Hopefully. I used to just give it one shot of water, but then the person who gave it told me, to me told me that I might be underwatering it. That's where I keep my glasses, and plates, and mugs, bowls, tea, coffee. Here's some more. Pretty exciting. Here's my name in a straw up there. Don't know what's up here. A plug. Nothing. Ooh, some spices and soy sauce. Riveting. Wow. Rice scoop, temp uh, uh, food thermometer. Looks like. Ooh, <laughs> I seem like the type of person who would use this. <laughs> but more importantly, we got on the stove top here. We've got Gamsol, polyurethane, polyacrylic, Raid, a steamer, and tennis balls and sumi and rotring ink so i mean everything you could possibly need along with allen wrenches and pins from the guy who made me that cool custom sweater oxblood oxblood creations more stuff right, let's go look in the attic stairs go up wait Okay. Across the way there is my neighbor's house where sometimes I see a glowing face in the morning looking down. My bedroom is directly below this and sometimes I look up there in the morning and I see a face looking down upon me. All right, we've got various things stacked up here. Boxes, cases. Bunch of these foam, I bought these foam sound absorber panels, but they come all compressed and they say that to uncompress them you should water them and then wring them out and then let them dry and it's just such a laborious process and I can't get all the water, it's really hard to get all the water out once I've gotten the water in. Here's a bunch of my uh, old sketchbooks. Some of these are used, some of these are not used. Just kind of storing them here. Some more books and sketchbooks. Croquet. Guns. Table legs. Paint and art supplies. Models that I haven't put together yet. I was going to do what's I called kit bashing. I still do that sometime. That could be cool. Or maybe now that I'm doing mold making, I can use these pieces to make cool molds. Camping supplies. Here's my old computer I have set up up here. Sometimes I need to get files off of it. And my printer only works with this computer, not my new computer. And then here's a bunch of my art and paintings and stuff I have. I keep up here in the attic. Plus this withered. Okay, is the word I'm looking for. There's a little meditation pillow to sit on. This would be a good place to meditate if I if it wasn't so freaking hot all the time. Maybe that's actually a good thing. There's a handmade sketchbook sent to me by someone named Kendall. You know who you are, thank you. Right now, I think I've showed you everything in the house. Let's go look in the shed out back. Oh, wait a second. I 
Yep, bedroom. And then at night, I come in here and I fall into bed right here and just pull this over myself and then press this button here to turn on the PlayStation 4, press this to turn on the projector, and boom, watch TV from bed. Like so, right there. This is a door onto the deck also, but I don't use it very much because I'm paranoid about tracking, like, I don't know, it's weird having a door straight into your bedroom. Because you get like leaves and stuff. Uh, here's a closet. Okay, let's go look outside to the shed. Oh yeah, before I leave, this is my spot where I grab my wallet, put it in my pocket, grab my keys, put them in my pocket, and then I grab sunglasses depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Do I want the classic Wayfarers or the slightly more, you know, I feel like I guess slightly more mojo with the with the Oakleys. But you ha you ha I have to be in a certain kind of mood to be able to pull these off because, I don't know, you look kind of like a dork or a jerk with these on. But they're really good sunglasses. They just work so well. The functionality is off the charts, even if they make you look like an idiot. I just, at a certain point, you gotta, you gotta decide you don't care. Outdoor rug, which I don't know why I have it here. Don't look, I'm putting the combination in. Ooh, hello. So my landlord keeps a bunch of stuff in here. As you can see, shutters, other bikes, filing cabinet, and then back there is a refrigerator and a chest of drawers. I also keep some stuff in here. Here's a space heater, which I don't need with these temperatures. And then here's where I do a lot of work over in this area. This, I have another one of these buttons that turns on lights, because I I mounted lights up there, and up there, and up there, which helps me. I do like painting here, and ooh, put a little mirror up there. Yeah, sometimes I put this easel up here and do painting, but lately I've been doing these, uh, work on these little plaster molds, which I've been using this bucket for, and I made with this silicone thing. Yeah, check that out. It's nice and squishy. So I want to do it. I'm going to do a video where I walk through the process of how to do all of this, but I wanted, to, this is my like test run walking through it. I use these 3D printer, so on and so forth, and all these tiles can be rearranged in different ways, different places to get different patterns. There's four different tiles. I've made them. I've, I've made it three times. Yeah, so there's this space. It's pretty chill because uh, it's small, intimate, and then if you ever need a break, you can just step outside, get some fresh air, you know, leave the door open. Plus you don't have to be afraid to get messy because, I mean, look at this thing. There's like a hole in the wall, so it's like no big deal. Right, guy? All right, so I think that's about it. Um, there's probably all sorts of cool and inter interesting things that I forgot to show and mention. So take solace in that, that there are cool and interesting things in here. I just forgot to show them to you. So they're out there, they're in here. I, oh yeah. This closet. Just kidding. It's just a linen closet. Bed sheets, towels. Some of you may be asking and wondering at this point, Peter, don't you take any pride in keeping your house neat and clean? No, I don't.
That is not a, it's not a source of pride for me. It's very nice in here. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.